Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to apply born harbor cycle to calculate enthalpy of lattice for calcium oxide. So let me make calcium oxide first. I take calcium, a metal, solid form at room temperature, plus oxygen, diatomic gas, to give you one mole of calcium oxide, solid, known as delta H formation. So I need half as much oxygen. Next thing I'm going to do is break this calcium oxide and free it up into fragments, ions, gaseous form. So I'm going to break calcium oxide to give you ions of oxygen, group six, therefore two minus gaseous and calcium is group one you should remember and recall that two plus gases this is delta h lattice and that's what i like to find out today so the other information i'm going to provide so first i go after calcium i'm going to make it into gaseous atoms delta h atomization then I'm going to remove one electron first before I remove the second electron. First electron being removed is first ionization energy. The second electron being removed is second ionization energy. Both endothermic, the second one you require more energy if you recall. Now let's go after oxygen. First we are going to break the covalent bond and free it up into gaseous atom. Oxygen gas, delta H atomization. Half of the covalent bond, table 10, you will find that information. Now oxygen, first I'm going to add one electron to make it one minus. Delta H, electron affinity, first one is A exothermic it actually gives you energy to do that the second one is endothermic they repel each other and you need to actually put energy in order for the electron to stick to the negative ion electron affinity number two now let's just uh, the rest of the values are given delta H lattice is not so formation of calcium oxide is minus 635 first atomization of calcium is 178 positive first ionization energy of calcium 590 positive and second ionization energy is 1150 and atomization of oxygen to break that covalent bond you need half of the oxygen double bond oxygen and that's 249 kilojoules. First electron affinity of oxygen is exo, minus 141. The second one is really endo, is positive 844. Now if you recall, there are two pathways. Going from these elements to the ions is one pathway. So you can call it root 1. is equal to the second pathway which is sum of six terms in order to go from here to fragments of ions which you need one two three four five six enthalpies are equal to other side which are two enthalpies so let's just put them next to each other delta h formation plus delta h lattice is equal to sum of the six terms delta H atomization of calcium plus the first ionization energy of calcium plus the second ionization energy of calcium plus delta H atomization of oxygen plus the first electron affinity of oxygen finally plus the last electron affinity or the second electron affinity of oxygen. Now I'm going to plug in. So delta H lattice is simply delta H atomization of calcium 
178 plus delta H ionization first one 590 plus the second ionization energy 1150 delta H atomization of oxygen 249 minus because first electron affinity is negative it's exo plus 844 now I'm going to take delta H formation the other side so minus a minus 635 if I do my algebra correctly I calculated to have 3505 kilojoule per mole